Hey, how's it going? So, I'll show you an extremely simple way of doing this column filters, right? So, in my previous video, I followed the tutorial guide. I mean, that guy, I don't think he knew fundamentally what he was doing. Because I'm not going to flame. I'm not going to flame, right? But it's a lot simpler than that guy showed, okay? So, first of all, so the first uh, column element right so the first thing we want to do we want to console log the um, column right now column is basically like an instance of the table it's, it's hard to explain you have to console log it work with this stuff so you, you you will see what what it means right now you see so this is technically every column that you have right you have your definitions inside and you have your uh, getter and setter functions now, each column has already state and like React has a state and use state to set the state, right? Now, this is already built in to this, um, to each column. So you do not, you do not need to bind it to local state to make it work, right? It's already built in. So based on that, based on that, first thing you check, can column be filtered, right? So what we're checking is, is this enable column filter set to false? If so, we skip. If not, we do the filtering, right? So then the function is very simple. We return an input, type text. Now, so that's the state. This is get filter value is actually like think about uh, standard uh, react stuff right so we have input and then we have set input which is equal to react use state like this right let me move this a bit to the top so you can see it right so this is what this looks like so this part here this part here input right is this here okay so it's column get filter value so when you get filter value you're effectively getting this per column per column right the only nuance is that it has to have some kind of initial value uh, otherwise, React is going to complain. Well, let me remove it so you will see that it's um, it's going to start complaining. So as soon as I start typing, you will see this error coming up. You see, React is uncontrolled or whatever it's called. Because it wants to have some kind of default value. If it doesn't have a default value, it's going to complain. So that's why you want to put this as OR operator. Like this. And then add brackets so it doesn't complain, right? Because initial value of this thing is null. Oh, shit. One sec. Yeah, so you want this thing. Let me rewrite it so you can see it. So we open bracket. So this is the input state, right? So it's equivalent to this thing. Only per column, right? Or, so when it starts, it's a value of null, right? So this operator here says that if this value is true or it has something truthy, uh, use this value. If not, use an empty string. And then we want to put it as a string for um, TypeScript, right? Oh, my apologies. Okay. So this this is just a value, right? So the second thing we need is on change function. So this is the set input. You remember when you do on change e, 
we usually type like this set input set input e target value right now we already have it in the column right so it's gonna be so column right column set filter value so it's one of the setter functions and this is basically exactly the same as this and that is all all that you need and that's it okay so it's going to work just based on two those two alone you see Interesting. It's not finding Lormina for some reason. Very, very interesting. Let's try Robin. Finds. Arlene finds. Ulrika finds. Interesting. There's something wrong with this value here. Let's try something else. Varia. Let's try Varia. Yeah, it could be some weird value. Let's try yeah this is not an l i don't think this is an l anyway it's nothing to do with filters like everything is working right so okay let's try here most of yeah okay all good all right so once again my apologies for um i used the the guy's code that was this and then this, I mean, you do not need all this mambo jumbo shit in here. Do you know what I mean? All you need is just uh, bind it to column state, and then bind it to column uh, set input or whatever it's called. And that's it. It's gonna work by itself, right? Okay. Take care. Bye bye.